Hello, I'm Duncan Wells, and this is Stress Free Sailing. We have a great deal of expensive rope about the boat, and we need to look after it. Part of that involves coiling it neatly. There are a number of ways of coiling rope, but we will look at two. The sailor's way and the climber's way. There are also several ways of finishing off the coil, and we will look at three. One of which I call the navy way, one is the sailor's way, and one the gasket coil hitch. Let's take a standard three-strand mooring warp. First, we'll flake the rope so there are no knots and twists to it. Now we will start with the eye splice in hand, the standing end, and we will coil this the sailor's way in a clockwise direction, adding a little twist as we go. We twist with the coil of the rope rather than against it, and it will form nice even loops. We do this until we have just a few feet remaining. Then. We'll take the running end and make a number of wraps around the coil. That's probably enough. And then we'll finish off. The simplest finish is the navy way, where we take the running end through between the wraps and the top of the coils. I call it the navy way because that's what a lifeboatman told me it was called. I've never been in the navy, so I don't really know. I'm sure the navy will tell me if I have it wrong. We could also finish off by taking a bite through the top of the coils and passing the running end through this. This is what I call the sailor's way. Nice and neat. Another way of finishing off is with a gasket coil hitch. We'll take a bite of the line through the top and bring this down over the coils. This traps the free end, the running end. The advantage of this finish is that if you lay this in a locker, it won't come undone. But it does look a bit skew whiff when hung up. So there are our three finishes, navy, gasket coil hitch and sailors. The navy and the sailors way being the neatest looking when you want to hang them up. When it comes to braided rope, we find that coiling it the sailors way, the rope tends to form itself into a figure of eight. This is what the rope naturally wants to do, and so there's no point in fighting it, we'll just live with it. Coiling rope the sailors way is all very well, but I find it's likely to tangle if I throw it on the deck and start pulling the line out. So we always need to flake it, or to make an intelligent pile, as a Breton sailor once told me. This is where we put down first that which we need last. Flaking, in other words. On the other hand, if we coil the rope the climber's way, there's a very good chance that it will run out smoothly from the coil. We wouldn't leave this to chance, of course, we'd flake it anyway. But rope coil the climber's way is far less likely to tangle. We take one coil into the hand and one coil out of the hand to form two separate loops. And we keep doing this until we've coiled the rope. Notice the two separate loops forming. A climber can't afford to have his rope tangle if he throws it down to someone, and so that's why he coils it this way. This is the way I coil most of my ropes. Here's Ellie coiling the spinnaker sheet using the climber's way and forming those two separate loops. She goes all the way to the end, it's a very heavy rope, and then she ends up with two beautiful sets of loops. With the rope coiled into the two loops, we will finish off. First though, we need to find the running end. Ah, got it, good. Then we'll take some wraps around the coils and end with either the navy way, which hangs up nicely, but which can come undone in the locker, or we will use the sailor's way by taking a bite through and passing the running end through this, which also hangs up very nicely. Or we could end with a gasket coil hitch by taking a bite through and over the coils and then pulling tight to trap the running end. That's it there. And that won't come undone in the locker. So that's it. A couple of ways to coil rope and a few finishes.